Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will take a topic called sport, sports analytics, especially our cricket. Okay. Uh, in cricket, uh, today we will concentrate on Virat Kohli's uh, data set, uh, which I will share with you. Yeah, finally, okay. You can contact us. Otherwise, I will share with you the link something. Okay, you will get a data set. Don't worry. Uh, today we will analyze Virat Kohli's ODI information, which we have from. Uh, 2007 to 2018 I think 2017 maybe like that okay we, we have that much data okay from uh, 2008 to 2017 we have the data today we will analyze that data first uh, we will see finally what we gonna say what we gonna get okay, in the end then you will understand okay when you analyze the whole data finally what you will conclude uh, from that that uh, we will see okay Finally, we'll uh, get one thing to know that Kohli uh, comes under uh, comes at number three is better. Okay, he played very good. He scored more run. His strike rate was great, uh, and uh, he is uh, like a uh, wicket falling percentage was very less like that. Okay, finally we can say like Kohli is uh, sending Kohli at number three is better than giving him uh, opening uh, task. Okay, and the second thing is Kohli's dismissal. When uh, when it comes to dismissal nowadays Kohli is getting uh, out okay uh, oh, so many times for uh, less runs okay we didn't see single centuries from so many years we can say okay so the most dismissals are happening from catches okay there is a problem okay uh, he is getting out uh, from catches okay uh, run out uh, run out is very less and all those uh, things are less okay we'll we'll analyze it uh, using python okay we'll we'll see the, uh, everything okay uh, how we did these conclusions and when it comes to teams okay for coily uh, no teams make any difference okay he plays uh, very good uh, to uh, like very good uh, to all the all the teams okay uh, no teams make him a difference maybe it's, it's australia england or like that okay he plays very well against all the three teams okay uh, these are the conclusions but to give the conclusions how you how you can say okay normally uh, anyone can say okay send coily at number three coily in the opening you will play good you will play better at this position that position that stuff but we as a data science people we should uh, say it uh, with numbers with proof okay that's what our main concern today is today we will analyze the data and we will say okay why we are concluding that first uh, i'm i'm going to use jupyter notebook okay if you don't know how to use jupyter notebook and all those stuffs i will uh, help you okay you can contact me and also if you don't know how to install anaconda and uh, my small advice is try to use uh, older version of anaconda uh, rather than the new version uh, 2018 version try to use 2018 version of anaconda because so many libraries are there with support that better than uh, new version anaconda okay and try to use python 3.6 or 7 which support all the type of libraries very well than 3.9 python 3.9 okay now we'll go with the code uh, first i'm going to import some libraries okay uh, first i'm going to import a library called numpy which uh, we used to work with arrays and matrices next we are going to use a plotly library which uh, we used to plot the graphs then comes pandas which is used to uh, import any data sets maybe csv maybe text maybe excel sheets uh, then comes a library called seaborn okay which is uh, used to work with uh, again graphs okay uh, graphs a good graphs can be plotted using seaborn you may you may know a matplotlib which is also used to uh, plot the graphs but that's fine but seaborn is better than that in case of colors and styles options are like that okay that's why we are going with seaborn rather than matplotlib these are the basic requirements now uh, we go with the other data set okay we have this virat coily dot csv uh, i will show that data set how is it okay this is the data set uh, which is having uh, columns called runs uh, best performance four sixes strike rate position in which position he came dismissals innings opposition ground and a start date of that match 
okay these are the information we have first i am going to read that data set using uh, pandas now i am going to print some top values that is printing the head values okay some top values i am going to print you can see here okay uh, i am printing the top values of all the columns and after that the most important step is this data info which te which tells us what is the column and what is the type of the data it contains runs which is there in integer a uh, best performance it is there in integer because it is in numbers force in numbers and all those things strike rate in float dismiss which is in object innings in integer opposition in object ground is in object object nothing but they are in strings ground names are there opposition team names are there start date which is object but uh, you may think like uh, dates are in numbers but uh, dates nothing but they will be having some pattern like mmyy dd dd mmyy like that so they will be strings okay there will be uh, otherwise iphones or slashes will be there in our case uh, we'll see how, how is it how, how the data is okay in our case the date is okay the first thing is day month and year okay uh, okay this is most important uh, step if we are doing any predictions in our case for now we are not doing any predictions we are doing analysis we are doing analytic thing here we are not uh, building any machine learning model till now we will build a machine learning model okay don't worry in this video we will analyze the data first clearly okay uh, there you will see why this is needed okay i will explain it when it comes then comes data describe uh, it seems uh, this is a small line of code but it carries it, it, it itself carries a lot of information a lot of information that i will i will, I will explain you now okay uh, uh you see under runs okay there comes 132 what is this 132 there are 132 rows okay what is the mean mean nothing but in the runs is mean is 46 what we say average okay that's mini uh, at mean at average is scored 46 runs okay standard standard it's very near to a uh, mean okay uh, but minimum is scored zero means he got duck out so a few times 25 times uh, it means 25 percent uh, probability he scored 10 runs minimum there is 50 percent uh, 50 percent times uh, if he played 10 matches in five matches he scored more than 30 okay and 75 times it means if he if he played uh, 10 matches in 7.5 matches he scored 80 runs okay and his highest score is 154 i think uh, you are understanding how to analyze this stuff same comes under best performance in best performance also his average is 50 this is 38 and you can analyze all the things when it comes to four you will understand and fours and sixes first we will see the fours uh, is mean force are four it means in each odi e minimum like uh, is uh, what do you say is a you will uh, you will take four force in average okay and also uh, 25 percent at minimum 25 percent you will score one uh, four anyway 75 percent maximum at uh, 75 percent times you will score seven fours and the maximum force he scored is 18 uh the same thing uh happens with sixes seven sixes in a match he scored that that is the highest thing in our data set that is 208 to 2017 okay uh, in average he will score uh 75 percent times you will score one sixes okay that means only get more runs from force rather than sixes okay when it comes to strike rate you will see his strike rate is also very good the mean strike rate is 76 okay, it's less than 100 but that's fine it's it's, it's actually good okay and his highest uh, strike rate in odi is 209 that is from 208 to 2017 that we are talking about and about position it mean position is 3 at maximum he comes at 3 and he plays 
and uh, 75% uh, he comes at 4 okay 50% times he plays at position 3 25 percent at 3 okay like that uh, that's fine okay. now I will see if there are any null values in data set there are any empty spaces or any data missing or like that to check that we will do data dot is null dot sum when we do this what we will get is any empty uh, things are there in any column okay when we see that we don't see any empty columns here because there are no empty things our data set is completely filled the data is proper now we we will go and explore the data bit depth okay till now we imported data set and we got some descriptions now we'll try to analyze it by visualizing through graphs and those steps will happen now uh, first thing is we'll try to plot the runs with the matches that is index nothing but match from 208 to 2017 uh, you can see here the runs average is as we saw in the description you can see here uh, he got uh, very less runs very less times his average is above 70 at max when you see above 70 you can see in the graph okay there are many spikes which goes above 70 okay that's what we described above mathematically but we are visualizing it here to visualize it here i i used the uh, um uh, i use seaborn okay to plot these graphs uh, the same thing okay uh, now what i want to do is okay i want runs from the dates okay from 0 to 120 uh, 140 whatever the dates are there but how the position is affecting okay then you can see in the right side uh, this i am plotting using a relational plot okay uh, you can see here position 3 is light darker position 7 is very high darker you can see when he comes at position 7 he got uh, very less runs it's 0 to 40 at maximum 0 to 40 at at maximum runs but when he comes at number 3 and uh, number 4 uh he, is, he got more runs you can see here it goes uh, more than 80 and 100 when it uh, when it when it is 3434 you will see that okay that's fine okay the same thing again i do using some in relational plot but using some line kind of stuff which tell which gives us a clear vision okay above points where we can't able to visualize properly but here we can visualize three is uh, four is very high like plus symbols you can see the plus symbols the more plus symbols are above 80 plus symbols and uh, uh, three that is uh, square symbols they are above 70 60 80 are like that it means when he when he comes at position 3 and 4 there is more possibility that he will score more runs okay that's what we want to show he scored okay he scored this is the data which is already happened so he scored more runs at number uh, position 3 4 now uh till now I, I said okay i compared each match with uh, runs okay where you may got somewhat confusion okay how to prove that now here i am plotting clearly which position and what is the highest uh, possibility of getting runs here you can see here at number three it is more than 40 at minimum uh, at four it's more than 40 but when he comes five six seven it reduces when he opens uh, that is one and two it is also less when you when it when you compare to three four okay this graphs gives us a clear vision and shows us why coily should play at three and four this is not one day data two day data this is collected from 208 to 2017 odi information okay the same thing i plotted using another graph 
where uh, you can see yeah, at number three maybe you can see the runs okay you can just see the runs how, the, how, how many times he scored uh, all the runs at number four also at number five number six it reduces as you saw above and then comes best performance in which position is best performance was okay uh in left hand side you can see uh best performance oh, sorry. uh x-axis is best performance and this is a position when you see three best performance goes on okay so is best performance also comes at uh, number three a lot okay that's the thing and the same graph if i exchange the x y you will understand it far better now you will see uh, in number one position the range will be 60 to 40 number two more than 60 uh, less than 20 it means in any one match he may score more than 60 or 70 when he when he came at number two but the problem is many times he got out before below 20 also okay but in number three you may feel like okay it's near to number uh, two and one but the but the thing is he got out between 60 and 40 it means when he when he comes at number three there is more possibility that he will get more runs under 60 to 40 it means there is more possibility of getting more runs at number three and there is less possibility of getting out below 20 below 30 like that same thing happens with 40 uh, sorry uh, same thing happens at number position at number four you will see he will score more than 60 nearly 70 and uh, minimum uh, 30 are like that when he comes at position 4 and after that you will see the fluctuation and when he came at 5 6 7 his, uh, his runs were very less in fact uh, you will be having very less overs sometimes but as we feel like um, sending coily at number 3 is a good thing i think because all the teams are trying even rcb is trying that but this time rcb tried to uh, send him uh, to open the open the match he scored little bit good runs but uh, they should have continued with uh, number three position to get good results okay that that we will see okay if we analyze the uh, data of rcb from to not eight to till now we will see that clear vision okay if we get data set if we make a data set and analyze the data of Virat Kohli you will understand okay how the things are changing you can decide then you can decide okay uh, that's what maybe RCB may thinking like that I think uh, maybe they may sought to not 16th data where Kohli was opening and he he scored massive runs uh, maybe more than 900 i think it's 964 or like that okay scored very huge runs and this time rcb uh, may thought like okay uh, let's send him <laughs> to open the match and see okay like that and even coily played come out good in uh, in the matches okay that's fine but if you get a clear data set of rcb from to not to till now you will your, yourself uh, I will say okay they should have done this they should have done this okay uh, uh, now uh, now what I am doing is sixes and positions anyway when it comes to success when he opened the matches uh, he scored good success and uh, but there is possibility that he scored zero success also but in the number three he scored minimum eight to four like there is possibility of this much it means when he comes, uh, the things are very clear here. When he comes at number three or four, everything will be stable here. Maybe his runs, maybe his sixes, maybe his fours. Okay. So the same thing I am uh, plotting, but here I am trying to see. Okay, uh, which uh, 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 with a scatter plot I am trying to plot it. Okay you will see the same stuff when he comes at three he will score good six uh, good number of sixes uh, four it's very good and if he comes at other positions there is uh, there are no sixes at 
uh, or less number of sixes like that you can say mm, the same thing with force okay here you can see the force force okay actually when it comes to coily you will score almost uh, more number of force okay and uh, he will do that because uh, he is purely technical and he try not to use power to take the ball out of the ground or like that he plays very well okay he is a master of uh, some good shots okay like cover drive and like that when it comes to Virat Kohli so uh, but here also position is affecting okay uh, through our data we just want to say position is the thing that affects Virat Kohli more than other stuffs okay so Kohli at number three is he gave very good thing very uh, very good contribution at three okay that's what you you can conclude okay here I am to I am trying to plot it position with the force the same stuff happens at position three four he gives go he, he, he plays more force uh, he he just scores more force at that position okay and now strike rate strike rate is also more uh, when it comes on at 3 4 and uh, when it comes to dismissal at position you may see like uh, at 3 uh, like uh, the darkest darkest where where it is like at seventh position uh, he almost got mm, not out otherwise he balled out or caught okay uh, but uh, when he comes to number now at number three he may he may uh, got out uh, in all the things but uh, we can say that he got out caught uh, caught out caught out was more okay that we will uh, analyze below here okay here you can see here I did I exchange that axis that he will analyze very easily when it comes to caught you, you see that line is very filled it means Coily got out caught when he comes at position 3 and 4 and 7 uh, in, uh, in other positions maybe not in 3 some other positions uh, this is a complete data okay so Coily got out almost at uh, almost by catches okay uh, it means maybe in a slip maybe third man um, like that okay that data is not there with us okay you could have analyzed that stuff also as for my knowledge when it comes to coily uh, nowadays he is getting out uh, from spinners maybe cardboard like that stuffs are uh, happening and in uh, slips are third man third man i don't see not much but in slip okay uh, in slip uh, he is getting out more times uh, if we have if we had so much of data like clear data we should have analyzed that also okay because of the data restriction we are analyzing this much of information okay and uh, here what i am doing is opposition and runs here you may see okay for some uh, netherland and all those countries runs are very less but the stuff is he played very less number of matches uh, but when you see uh, uh, against Australia, Bangladesh, South Africa, Zimbabwe also, we India played very less number of matches. He played some good runs and some less number of runs against that. But the same graph I will plot, I will plot below. Okay, that will show us a clear vision. You can see here. He played very well against uh, Bangladesh and Australia. And uh, okay, there there are some some differences there, but. Uh, it also depends on how many matches they played against each team so i don't think uh, team affects coily okay he plays very well against all the teams okay uh, you may feel like versus pakistan versus netherlands it's very less not like that actually uh, versus pakistan we play only world cups so we get very less number of matches so versus netherlands also the same stuff happen versus ireland also very uh, very less matches india will play but against all other teams his average is very good uh, runs minimum 30 for match uh, that's what minimum 30 for match is like that okay uh, but when it comes to bangladesh 
uh, at max he will score nearly 90 and uh, at average he will score more than 60 in each match and when it comes to australia and england also same uh, and new zealand also same like at average it's more than 60 and at max it will go above 80 and uh, versus west indies it's more than 40 at average and uh, highest it will go up below 80 just below 80 and england a bit fluctuation is there here uh, against england uh, you will score like uh, less than 60 at max but average uh, 30 like that will be there okay so uh, these are the things we can analyze okay this is a bar graph but this line shows us at max what okay where that uh, line and this bar graph intersects that means there's a mean okay where that line uh, below ends no that's a minimum minimum score you will score like that the darkest line will show us minimum and max okay that bar graph shows us at average at mean uh, now uh, i just want to analyze ground and dismissal okay how, uh, how we uh, like uh, how we got dismissal with grounds so here both are strings you can't plot the strings versus strings so that's why i used a technical mapping technique where i mapped that uh, dismissal uh, column to the numbers okay so maybe cot to one like that okay one two three four five six are there like this like uh, six may be caught five may be bold four may be run out oh sorry like this three two one it comes like okay uh, below is uh, our x axis is ground so this ground uh, he may uh, maybe if i take uh, six is caught okay uh, for ground one a uh, four means uh, run out or like that is there uh, bold bold or run out like that okay here this this uh, this is random actually mapping is random uh, but we can visualize that and we can see the you can uh, you can you can just print the list okay you will see that how i mapped okay we can see that also this dictionary is there no uh, i will run that and i will show before uh, end this this one this video okay uh, what exactly that one two three four five six is are there okay which ground what are uh, you like uh, how many catches like there are some grounds he, he got six six nothing but he may uh, got out by caught okay uh, catches he gave catches uh, there at max at minimum he may got out uh, with run out or some border like that we'll see clearly this one okay i'll i'll print that and i'll show you okay i'll show the results so that's fine uh in the end okay what what we are concluding okay uh, till now we said okay coily at number three is good number three and four we can add that because four four number three are four because four is uh, we say four is optional coily at three is far better than four no so coily dismissal is happening by catches a lot a lot okay you can't compare a lot it's a lot he is getting uh, out by catches a lot then uh, bald ilbw and all those stuffs uh, and he plays very well against all other teams okay all the teams okay teams makes no difference if we add some other details like a uh, uh, bowler uh, bowler type maybe spin off spin or leg spin uh, speed bowler medium spacer if we add that option we should analyze better if we add a bowler okay like lasit malinga maybe um, <clears throat> maybe from martial mitchell shark or like that anyone we, we should have compared that also but we don't have that data if we get that data we can analyze that okay this is the analysis part in the next part what we'll do based on the information we can predict we will build machine learning model which we where we can predict how much he will score in the next match against a particular country uh, that is you can predict the runs based on uh, opposition ground and also position okay uh, this is a ground uh, 
uh, okay if he, uh, maybe uh, he is playing against australia uh, um, uh, in uh, bangalore okay uh, chenna swami stadium so then we, we, we can analyze okay chenna swami stadium australia okay and he is coming at number 3 today so how much runs he can score there for now we can predict like only this much if we add a information say uh bowlers informations and uh, weather information maybe uh, how many number of facers are coming from australia maybe spinners and uh, speed bowlers how many leg spinners how many uh, off spinners who is a leg spinner who is off spinner if we have that much depth data we can predict very granular level prediction very proper level prediction okay you may feel like okay in cricket you can't predict anything uh, it's just goes like that okay um, someone will out for uh, zero today he may score uh, <laughs> double century tomorrow just uh, like Roy Sharma and how you will analyze that data it will not happen like that okay there is always a pattern but we fail to analyze that pattern if you get catch of it you will understand okay that's what nowadays you can see the new zealand team okay when you feel, when you see the new zealand team you will feel okay this is not stronger than any other teams but when they play they will win <laughs> you just keep on uh, having question mark on your head that's what happens when you have a data and uh, uh, i heard that uh, they have a good analytics team with them and uh, i also heard that uh, they are the first team who had this analytics teams uh, for analyzing the data and all those stuff and for my knowledge okay this new, new zealand team and even england team uh, all the all the people are doing that stuff okay they analyze the data if you get a get ca caught of that uh, opponent's information you can play like if you get the weakness of your opponent it's done okay <laughs> everyone will have a weakness and a strength that's what you you can do it uh, with the data okay you can you can uh, you can't change your weaknesses but when it comes to like for example Virat Kohli if he get out to uh, leg spin a lot so what he can do when a leg spinner comes he can just dot the ball that's all you will have four or five overs or like in if it's a t20 you will have four overs and uh, Virat Kohli is playing uh, if opponent team sends leg spinner uh, to him he can just dot the thing when ball comes out of that like when it's playable then only play okay when it comes straight forward and just dot it dot it okay how many balls uh, he will have very less balls okay four hours keep it aside and other hours are for you if you have a weakness if you are uh, going out with uh, leg spinner or off spinner uh, stay calm at that overs those overs and uh, yes boom for other uh, bowlers that's what you can do and even in uh, uh, in this your uh, ipl quality does uh, same stuff you, you can see that okay you can you can see the matches and analyze the things you, you see the data of, of uh, the whole ipl and you will get the results okay that's what uh, today's session was okay you can analyze the data and this is what we call sport analytics okay if you got bigger data you can analyze it very deeply uh, that's what the companies are doing and all those apps are doing there are so many companies who are helping all the teams in ipl maybe ipl maybe in all the condition maybe in caribbean teams also buying that stuff uh, that is the west indies caribbean leagues will happen no? like that and big bears and everyone are hiring now data scientists are data analytics analytics analytic uh, teams okay uh, to get good results okay uh, we'll see in the next class okay thank you very much for your time and uh, don't try to <laughs> skip uh, okay and uh, try to uh, like and subscribe the video if you like it and if you want any help just contact me okay i will help you with the data and if you get any error let me know and if you have any good data set okay regarding this stuff if you want me to help you uh, you can you can just contact uh, contact us okay we will be giving you contact number and all those stuffs below uh, uh, i will share you the link of uh, some good papers are like that which will help you okay thank you thank you very much okay